Oh man. It is coffee time for me. Cheers everyone, cheers. The weather today is beautiful right now. It's about 58 degrees, it's a little breezy. The leaves, oh my gosh, incredible. But there is rain coming in. By the way, folks, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke, just in case you don't know. This is my cabin here at Lone Wolf Mountain. Lone Wolf Mountain is in Western North Carolina, roughly 50 miles away from where I live. I'm saying this just in case you haven't seen any previous episodes, but this is my cabin up here on top of my mountain. What you're looking at here is a toy hauler that Susan, that's my wife, we converted into a cabin. It is pretty sweet. As the year goes long and it's cooling down, I'm even more excited to get out to use this. I'm really looking forward to the day where it's snowing outside, it's windy, and we're inside of this together and it's nice and warm and we're cooking a good meal. That's going to be nice. Talking specifically about the cabin here, it is complete, 100%. I dug out the patio, I laid the rocks, we have a nice fire pit over here. The water's running on the inside. It's all set up, it's all ready to go. The only thing that I haven't worked out 100% is the bedding. We have a couch in here that folds out into a bed and it's good for one person and one person only. So there has to be another option there whenever Susie comes along with us. So. Yeah, I'm going to test out something tonight. I have an idea, a different type of setup, so we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately, with the patio here, we're past the first freeze of the season, so I can't plant any grass seed. It simply won't grow. That will have to wait until next year. But yeah, folks, this thing is done. It's complete. Cheers everyone. Now this is nice. Originally, I was going to go out for a backpacking trip, but over the last couple of weeks, I've had so many requests to come back to the cabin. Here I am. Plus, I wanted to give you all an update on this. This cabin has been working out so incredibly well. For an example, when I come out to do some like test night episodes where I'm testing out the waterproofness of tents, this is invaluable. I can set the tents up, I can monitor them. It's really nice. There's a big line of storms coming this way. I'm not sure exactly what time that will arrive. Probably sometime in the night. But as is, we are surrounded by showers, storms, but we're lucky folks. I don't think we'll get wet for a while. That's why I went ahead, got the fire going. That way we can kick back a little bit before it gets dark. The day after tomorrow, everyone, Susie and I were heading off the mountain. We're going to go see our son, Lucas, who's in college. I cannot wait to see this guy. I tell you what, folks, 
Lucas is such a cool young man. Lucas left for college in the summer and now he's into his fall semester. He loves it. He's having a great time. In fact, he just got his first job, first college job, and he's working for the police department. He's going to be doing security alongside the police, which I think is going to be the perfect job for him. Man, he is a freaking tank. He's been working out. He's been hitting the gym. He weighs like 180. I'm about 155 something. And uh, he's huge. <laughs> he's absolutely huge. Lucas, way to go, my friend. You are the man. So with his job, his security job, he'll be escorting people that need it. He's going to be doing security around campus. He'll be doing security like at sporting events and whatnot. He's super excited about it and he should be. It's gonna be fun, a lot of fun. And at the same time, it's gonna be crazy. He's gonna see all sorts of crazy stuff. I can't even imagine. When I was his age, when I was his age, I had calmed down quite a bit, but go back a few years, I was busy to say the least. Not doing anything illegal, but just being mischievous with my friends, you know? Out here in the country doing dumb country stuff. <laughs> oh man, it's fun. Lastly, as far as the updates go, Susie's doing great. You all will get to see her very soon. We are planning to do some sort of road trip as soon as we get back from seeing our son. We may be heading to North Dakota, I believe. I think that's what we're looking at. It really does depend on the weather. I'm pretty sure that North Dakota has gotten snow already. It's pretty funny. We got snow already as well. So let's see, today it is October 12th. We received snow September 28th. I think. Whatever day it was that Hurricane Ian came through, it was about 40 degrees here and the mountaintops, they received snow. It's only the second time it has ever snowed in September here, ever. The first time is like 1965 or 68 or something like that. Fall is here, winter's coming. It's supposed to be around 22 degrees next week, which is very exciting. I cannot wait. Folks, I've been waiting for snow <laughs> for way too long. I know you all have too. We're gonna transition from all of the rain trips to snow adventures. Cannot wait.
Ah, oh, man, that smells good. Everyone, this smells incredible. We have some jasmine rice, Hawaiian chicken, pineapple. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should just turn the camera off now so I don't trigger people by like moaning and groaning on how good this is. Because this, oh man, looks amazing. Here we go. Phenomenal. I think it's neat how many viewers went out and got toy haulers as well after seeing this one. We received images from three people with their setups and they are sweet. They are really, really nice. If you happen to have a toy hauler yourself, show us your setup. Or heck, any sort of off-grid cabin. I'd love to see it. I think it's always interesting to see how people do things because it's always different. Everyone has a different way of solving problems, and I personally find that very interesting. I mentioned in a previous episode some things that I was thinking about for next year. Motorcycle camping, or possibly a UTV camping, or a Japanese import, like four-wheel drive, that sort of camping. I've received a ton of feedback from you all. The smallest percentage wanted to see moto camping. Most people didn't seem to care about that. Most of the emails that I received were people begging me not to get a motorcycle because they're so dangerous. And folks, I do appreciate it. The number one choice, without a doubt, was the Japanese import. If you didn't see the previous episode, I was talking about a Japanese import. You can get land cruisers from Japan fairly inexpensively here in the United States. If you were to go out and buy an American-made Toyota land cruiser, like even the old ones are still like 30, 40, 50, and up thousand dollars. But you can get these Japanese ones with roughly 100,000 miles on them really inexpensively. Like uh, 15,000 up to 20,000. I mean, that's still a lot of money, but for a Land Cruiser, that's nothing. Just in case you don't know, Land Cruisers are some of the best four-wheel drives out on the market today. They are world famous. In the United States, it's a luxury automobile. Outside of the United States, it's a utility vehicle. The majority says get the Japanese import, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get something that's unique and different, something that's not seen on YouTube all the time. Then we'll hit the back roads, we'll drive around, we'll do some camping. That is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Now, all I have to do is just find the right one. We'll see. We'll see what I find. Mm. I'm going to turn off the camera for now. I'm going to eat my dinner. I'll see you all in a few minutes. Give us a shot. Whew. Without a doubt, this mattress is insanely comfortable. And the pillow, it's actually not bad. 6.30 comes early, everyone, so I'm going to say goodnight now. 
Yeah. Sleep good. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, folks. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's about 7.30. Slept in a little bit. Oops. <laughs> ah, it's chilly and brisk this morning. But it looks to be pretty outside. As far as the rain goes, it rained basically all night long. All right, everyone, breakfast is done. I have an egg wrap with cheese, bacon. Oh yeah. Now it's time for some cowboy coffee. Boiled to perfection. Cheers, my friends, cheers. Mm-hmm. Before I forget, I want to do some shout outs real quick. I forgot to do this in last week's episode. Cheryl, thank you so much for the darn tough sock gift card. That was incredibly generous. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Just in time for winter. So thank you so much. Mike, my friend, thank you so much for the 3FUL two person tent. I greatly appreciate it and I know the community will as well. Especially when we can put that up against the Outdoor Vitals tent the z packs tent we can compare these trekking pole tents and see how they fare so mike thank you buddy i appreciate you bud franklin thank you so much for the axe you did an amazing job repurposing that i really appreciate it and i will keep that forever harris thank you so much for the sleeping pad buddy i really appreciate you man i, I apologize for forgetting your name in a couple episodes back so check this out everyone i have a story to tell story time the other day, Susie and I were driving through town, and we come up to a stoplight. 
So on this road, it's multi-lane. So you have two lanes going straight. You have two lanes turning left. So here's a left turning lane. Here's another left turning lane. We're right here, okay? So turning lane, turning lane, straight, straight. So we come to a stop because it's red. The two straight lanes, they can keep going because they have the green light. This guy pulls up next to us and stops, right? He stops in a straight lane. So the vehicles behind him, they start honking. He opens up his door and he gets out. And he's like, the light is red and gets back in. So I put my window down, right? I'm going to talk to this guy and let him know, like, just pull in front of me if you want to. I don't care. But the guy refused to look at me. It was one of those things where, like, he knows that I'm staring at him. He knows that I put my window down. Of course, when my light turned green, I didn't go because I knew exactly what this idiot was going to do. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> the plan for the day is pretty simple. I'm going to finish up breakfast, pack everything up, wash some dishes, and head home. I have some work to do before I head out of town tomorrow to go see my son. We're going to go spend the weekend with him. Thank you all so much for joining me for this trip. I really appreciate it. It's always a good time. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. I will see you all next week with the next adventure. Until then, be well, be safe, strength and honor. Bye, folks.